Hi, this question is very common now. So common that it would be present in any CAT related study material. Yet I find students posting this question on social media asking how it is to be solved. So here I am solving it. I'll be using proportionality and the solution can be done uh, without using any pencil work. Uh, however, for me to explain, I'll just be jotting down a few points. Uh, I hope you all have read the question. Speed reduces. Because the speed reduces, the train is late. So it travels and here the dotted one is where the speed is reducing. Now, as you, as you travel at the reduced speed, you're getting late over the distance that you are traveling. Over the time, the more distance, the more time I keep traveling at a reduced speed, the more late I am going to be. Do you see the language? More distance I travel, more late I will be. So 75 minutes late I am. And in the second case, had the fault occurred 40 kilometers further. So I have traveled at full speed a little longer. Okay, then and now I have reduced my speed. So here I'm going to travel at the reduced speed for a little shorter distance compared to earlier. And hence I reached 10 minutes earlier. Now this 10 minutes earlier than what it actually did just simply means that it is going to be 65 minutes late. Instead of 75 late, it is 65 minutes late here. Right? Uh, and... Uh, if you uh, have followed that intuition, more I travel, more late. Um, over the more distance I travel at reduced speed, more late. Over lesser distance I travel at reduced speed, lesser late. So what this just means is the distance over which I am 75 minutes late and the distance let me keep it short, over which I am 65 minutes late, these two distances will be in the ratio 75 is to 65. And uh, this ratio 5 will cancel out. This is 15 and 15 and 13. 5 13s are. And what else do I know? I know that the difference of the two distances is 40. This is larger, this is shorter, the difference is 40. So I want this distance 2, the distance 2 to be equal to 40. So the multiplying factor is just 20. So the two distances are 20 into 15, that is 300 and 260. 300 is uh, this complete distance, 150 it had traveled, so the total distance is 450. We have reduced the question to as simple as that a ratio is given and a difference is given. What are the two values? Right? Hence I said, to explain I had to write all this, but could you just do it? You know that this 40 kilometers further, more, extra, less is always the difference. And 75, 65, 15, 13, 2, 2 is 40 into 40, 15 to, uh, uh, into 20, 15, 2 is a 300. Rest all is a repetition, students, right? Uh, so, if the question is find the regular speed, now that you know the distance, you know this distance, so we are comparing this with going non-stop, right? Going non-stop and going with at a reduced speed. So, do I know that the ratio of speeds, the ratio of speeds over the part where I'm going to get late, over this distance, the ratio of speed is going to be earlier as going at fast speed, now I'm going at slow speed, the time taken will be 4 and 7, and do I know that 75 minutes late means the difference, this difference of 3 is nothing but 75, so multiplying factor will be 25 times. So the 4 is going to be 100 minutes. So I take 100 minutes at full speed. For what distance? We had just found for 300 kilometers. 300 kilometers, 100 minutes. So can I find the speed? Pretty easy, right? So speed is equal to distance by time. Time is in minutes. You need to convert it to hours. Divide by 60. Speed is 180 kilometers per hour. Again, reducing the question to just a ratio is given, a difference is given. You can find the actual time taken. 
And since you know the distance and the time, you can find the speed as well.